Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and this is episode 5 of building a high-end 450 size quadcopter. In this episode I'm going to be connecting the Pixhawk flight controller and attaching it to the aircraft. The Pixhawk is already attached to its vibration plate using the sticky pads provided. The next thing I have done is drill holes into the top plate of the 450 frame. We have a really limited space on this frame, but it fits just about. Unfortunately, there is not enough room to drill holes and use nylon spacers. The arms get in the way. So what I'm doing instead is drilling holes as close to the edge of the arms as possible and then using these small cable ties to loop through the holes of the vibration plate and the frame itself. The end result is a very secure hold. Ensure that the arrow on the Pixhawk is facing in the direction you want the quadcopter to move forward. I have chosen the white arms as the front. Next we need to talk about the connections to the Pixhawk itself. In the last video I already showed the connections to the receiver using the S-Bus connector. Now we need to connect some other devices. In no particular order I'm starting with the power module. This supplies the 5 volts required to the Pixhawk as well as the voltage and current telemetry which we will use later. The power side piggybacks onto our XT60 connector that I soldered onto the power distribution board and the JST type connector on the other end plugs into the Pixhawk power slot. You can solder the power module direct to the power distribution board if you like, however this will make it harder to swap over to another aircraft if you plan to in the future. For the moment I am going to cable tie this down along with the receiver. The next connection I'm going to talk about is the arming switch. This is a new mandatory safety feature and it plugs into the switch slot on the Pixhawk. We have to press it before the copter will arm. I'm going to cable tie this to the frame for now. Next is the GPS module. This comes with a foldable stand which is really handy. I have hot glued the module to the top of the stand. I'm going to use these nylon screws bought off eBay to fix it to the frame. It just about fits. I'm using the nylon screws because they will break off easily in a crash and won't damage the stand. You need to make sure that the arrow on the GPS module is pointing in the same direction as the arrow on the Pixhawk. You have two connectors on the GPS module. One is for the magnetometer which tells the quadcopter which way is north and the other is for the GPS. Again you have two JST style connectors. One plugs into the GPS slot and the other plugs into the I2C port. The next thing to plug in is the telemetry module. This is going to enable us to connect the Pixhawk remotely to a laptop using the Mission Planner software. This plugs into the telemetry slot on the Pixhawk. I am also cable tying this in I don't plan on using this telemetry module all the time so I want the option to remove it. I will be connecting the Minim OSD telemetry board in the future for FPV and also the telemetry module that can be sent back to the Tyrannis but let's get it flying first. You can also attach the buzzer at this stage which goes into the aptly named buzzer slot however at the setup stage I find it quite loud and annoying but very useful once we have set everything up, so I am leaving it out for now. Lastly, we will be connecting the ESC wires to the flight controller. You can check out this diagram which shows you which motor connects to which port on the Pixhawk. The servo leads connect to the Pixhawk flight controller so that the black ground wire is at the top and the signal wire is at the bottom. Just one thing I have done as a temporary measure, I have added rubber bands to the back two arms of the quadcopter and then I have fed the antennas from the receiver through them to keep them still for the test flight. The antennas are supposed to sit at 90 degrees to each other and later I will be adding a 3D printed mould that will allow me to have them in that position. 
So there you go. That is episode five of building a high end 450 size quadcopter. Please continue to subscribe for the next episode where I set up the Pixhook flight controller in Mission Planner. Thanks so much for watching. Cheers.